Welcome to the Bible in Slow English. Today's reading is Numbers chapter 7. On the day that Moses had finished setting up the tabernacle and had anointed it and sanctified it with all its furniture and the altar with all its vessels and had anointed and sanctified them, the princes of Israel, the heads of their father's houses, offered. These were the princes of the tribes. These are they who were over those who were counted. And they brought their offering before Yahweh, six covered wagons and twelve oxen, a wagon for every two of the princes, and for one, each one, an ox. They presented them before the tabernacle. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Accept these from them, that they may be used in the, doing the service of the tent of meeting, and you shall give them to the Levites, to every man according to his service. Moses took the wagons and the oxen and gave them to the Levites. He gave two wagons and four oxen to the sons of Gershon according to their service. He gave four wagons and eight oxen to the sons of Merari according to their service under the direction of Ithamar, the son of of Aaron the priest. But to the sons of Kohath he gave none, because the service of the sanctuary belonged to them. They carried it on their shoulders. The princes gave offerings for the dedication of the altar in the day that it was anointed. The princes gave their offerings before the altar. Yahweh said to Moses, They shall offer their offering, each prince on his day, for the dedication of the altar. He who offered his offering the first day was Nashon, the son of Amminadab, of the tribe of Judah, and his offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering, one golden ladle of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Nashon, the son of Amminadab. On the second day, Nethanel, the son of Zuar, prince of Issachar, gave his offering. He offered for his offering one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering, one golden ladle of ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat, for a sin offering, 
and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Nethanel, the son of Zuar. On the third day, Eliab, the son of Helon, prince of the children of Zebulun, gave his offering, one silver platter, the weight of which was a hundred and thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering, one golden ladle of ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Eliab, the son of Helon. On the fourth day, Elizur, the son of Shadur, prince of the children of Reuben, gave his offering, one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering, one golden ladle of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Elizur, the son of Shadur. On the fifth day, Shalumiel, the son of Zurishaddai, prince of the children of Simeon, gave his offering one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil, for a meal offering, one golden ladle of ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Shalumiel, the son of Zurishaddai. On the sixth day, Eliasaph, the son of Duel, prince of the children of Gad, gave his offering, one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering, one golden ladle of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs, a year old. This 
was the offering of Eliasaph, the son of Jewel. On the seventh day, Elishama, the son of Amihud, prince of the children of Ephraim, gave his offering, one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering, one golden ladle of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Elishama, the son of Amihud. On the eighth day, Gamaliel, the son of Petazur, prince of the children of Manasseh, gave his offering, one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering, one golden ladle of ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs, a year old. This was the offering of Gamaliel, the son of Petashur. On the ninth day, Abidan, the son of Gideonai, prince of the children of Benjamin, gave his offering, one silver platter, the weight of which was over 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering." one golden ladle of ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Abidan, the son of Gideonai. On the tenth day, Ahiezer, the son of Amishadai, prince of the children of Dan, gave his offering, one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering, one golden ladle of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs, a year old. This was the offering of Ahiezer, the son of Amishadai. On the eleventh day, 
Pagiel, the son of Okran, prince of the children of Asher, gave his offering, one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering, one golden ladle of 10 shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Pegiel, the son of Okran. On the twelfth day, Ahira, the son of Enon, prince of the children of Naphtali, gave his offering. One silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering, one golden spoon of ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Ahira, the son of Inan. <clears throat> this was the dedication offering of the altar on the day when it was anointed by the princes of Israel. Twelve silver platters, twelve silver bowls, twelve golden ladles, each silver platter weighing 130 shekels, and each bowl 70. All the silver of the vessels, 2,400 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. The twelve golden ladles, full of incense, weighing ten shekels apiece, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. All the gold of the ladles weighed 120 shekels. All the cattle for the burnt offering, 12 bulls, the 12 rams, the male lambs a year old, 12, and their meal offering, and 12 male goats for a sin offering, and all the cattle for the sacrifice of peace offerings, 24 bulls, 60 rams, 60 male goats, and 60 male lambs a year old. This was the dedication offering of the altar after it was anointed. When Moses went into the tent of meeting to speak with Yahweh, he heard the, his voice speaking to him from above the mercy seat that was on the Ark of the Testimony, from between the two cherubim, and he spoke to him. This is the end of Numbers chapter 7. Come again for the next chapter. Find the link to our website in the description below. And if you found our podcast helpful, please like us, subscribe, and share us with your friends. Thank you for listening to the Bible in Slow English. This is Janet Benish, your reader.